Coming up in this episode, sun, sea, and sand. Bertie has now buried himself in sand. You all met stairs. I was just enjoying a bit of a lie down on the beach. My son distracts me during a busy stage of flight. Dad. Yeah. Urgent. And was this a warning that our engine was on its way out? And Golf Oscar Romeo, I smell burning. Are you seeing anything unusual? You're watching The Flying Reporter. Welcome aboard. Last summer, my son and I took a flying day trip to Latouque. Latouque is a small seaside town in northern France, and it's a popular first overseas destination for private pilots from the south of England. My followers will know that our aeroplane's engine was condemned this autumn. I'll bring you an update on how the overhaul is going in a little bit. But I wonder if something that happened on this flight was a clue that things weren't quite right up front. That's coming later. Stay tuned. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Is it loud? No, it's fine. You happy with that? Yeah. This is Red Hill Information, Zulu, time 0750, runway news 26 left, surface wind variable 3 knots, cav OK, temperature plus 20, dew point plus 15, QNH 1016, acknowledge receipt of information, Zulu, QNH. Red Hill Tower, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, uh, outbound with Zulu QNH 1016, opposite the pilot's hub. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Red Hill Tower, good morning, have your flight plan details, ready to taxi? If I'm Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, thank you, taxi, cross the grass, file the taxiway, holding point Alpha 1, Squawk 3767. Talk to you. Across the grass, uh, via the taxiway to Alpha One, Squawk Three Seven Six Seven Golf, Oscar Romeo. Okay, ready to taxi. You okay? Yeah. Right, you're going to need to wave to the little boy that's over there. Where? In the cafe. Uh? Wave. Hi. Bertie generally finds most of the flying a bit boring, so he gets his head into his Nintendo straight away. I like him to be alert though during takeoff and landing, so I usually make him take his attention away from his screen during these phases of flight. Thank you. Start approved. Report ready to lift. Start with right. Can you? Pop that down for a second while we get in the air. OK. Golf Oscar Romeo, Alpha 1, ready for departure. Golf Oscar Romeo, after departure, leave our Godstone, not above altitude 1,400 feet. After departure, fire Godstone, not above altitude 1,400 feet. Golf Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, runway 26 left, right turn, cleared for takeoff, the surface wind 290, 5 knots. Runway 26 left, right turn, clear for takeoff, Golf Oscar Romeo. Red Hill Tower, Golf Tower, Tower for Zulu Oscar, request taxi fuel. Golf Zulu Oscar, morning taxi, cross the grass, cross runway 18, enter Fox Shot, Northern End. Cross the grass, cross runway 18, enter Fox Shot, Northern End, Golf Zulu Here we go then, alright. It's going to be yeah. a bit bumpy because it's grass, isn't it? Oh. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Got SB coming alive. Fifty knots. And we're away. Temperatures and pressures are OK, good power. Everything is perfect. That was a nice clean takeoff. 
Stay tuned for my landing at the 2K though. Find out what classic error led to that very sloppy landing. Saving my money. We've got a family trip coming up in August. Got Australia Tower, two miles north of Eden Bridge. It's basic service, report changing frequency. Ah, basic service, uh, Wilco, and uh, please confirm uh, flight plan activated. Golf Australia. Basic available time of 27. If you're going to carry a child passenger on board, be sure you have the capacity to handle them, especially if you're on your own. While I'm navigating the initial stages of my flight, keeping an eye out for other traffic in this busy area and avoiding an infringement of controlled airspace, Bertie, who's had his head down in his game for the last 30 minutes, suddenly complains of neck ache. Urgent. My neck's really worsening. Right, so stop looking at that. Relax your neck. If you're looking down at that, you're not relaxing your neck. You're going to turn that off Only and just look forward. OK? I can't okay. have you getting into a situation where your neck is hurting so badly, we're going to have to divert. Because you've been looking at that. Kofosco Romeo, request frequency change, Farmer Radar 123, decimal 225. Kofosco Romeo, Squawk 7000, pre-call Farmer, bye-bye. Squawk 7000, pre-call Farmer, Golf Oscar Romeo. Farmer Radar, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, request basic service. Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, Farmer Radar, pass message. Good morning, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA28, uh, Red Hill 2, Le 2K, VFR, Tunbridge, altitude 2200 feet, 1016, uh, routing, lid, request basic service. Golf Oscar Romeo, London QNH 1016, Corp 1730, basic service. QNH 1016, 1730, the score, and basic service, Golf Oscar Romeo. Just going by Paddock Wood. Golf Golf Victor, Squawk 7000, continue one route. Good. Hang on. Golf Golf Victor, 7000, we'll transfer over to London Information, what is all that Golf Victor, goodbye. Just avoiding traffic there. Have, have you taken up stunt flying? No. This what Did you like, like that? That's some bank. It feels like you... You've taken up stunt flying. Golf Oscar Romeo, Squawk 7000, continue on route. Squawk 7000 over to lead, Golf Oscar Romeo. <laughs> lead approach, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, request basic service. Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, lead approach. Good morning, passing message. Good morning, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA28 from Red Hill to Latuke VFR. Uh, we are, well, let's have a look, we are 11 miles to the north uh, west, uh, altitude 3700 feet, 1016, uh, routing overhead, request basic service. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, QNH 1016, basic service, report overhead and squawk 7066. QNH 1016, report overhead, Squawk 7066, Golf Oscar Romeo. Uh, basic service. So this is Bertie's first uh, cross-channel crossing. We bought him a special life jacket. And what must you not do? Pull the cord In as, as, as actually... Alistair did. My friend Alistair did that just before a flight. But yeah, not in the plane. Even if we're in the water in the plane, you wait until you're outside of the plane. So we'll be there in 20 minutes. It's not very long at all, is it? Wow. Good, eh? We'll be in France. Golf Oscar Romeo uh, overhead. We'll be coasting out and we'll cross the FIR boundary at uh, waypoint Took V at minute 08. Thank you, report mid-channel. Wilco, Golf Oscar Romeo. 
Golfers Gromit, climbing to flight level 55. Touch Golfers Gromit, thank you. Oscar Romeo's uh, channel, uh, flight level 55. Golf Oscar Romeo, roger. Free call uh, Lille 120, decimal 275, and squawk 7000. Lille 120, decimal 275, uh, squawk 7000, Golf Oscar Romeo. Lille approach, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo. Golf Oscar Romeo, bonjour, Scoc 6100, QNH1016, report approaching is OK. Scoc 6100, QNH1016, and uh, was that report approaching the 2K? Yeah. OK, Golf Oscar Romeo. Bonjour, c'est l'Alpha, j'ai les éléments, rappelez en approchant du 2K. Rappelez-moi, l'approchant du 2K, c'est l'Alpha. Golf Oscar Romeo, bonjour, Scoc 11845, bye bye. 2K Tower 118, decimal 450. Goodbye, Golf Oscar Romeo. The 2K Tower, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, bonjour. Squawk 6110. Join and report right downwind 1131. 6110 and join and report downwind runway 31. Golf Oscar Romeo. Victor, Victor, début de bataille à droite, piste de 31. Charlie Victor, reçu, je vous rappelle pour tourner en base. Direction indicator aligned, altimeter 1017. Alpha Echo, piste 31, autorisé atterrissage, 240 degrés d'une. Ouais, c'est Echo. Golf Oscar Romeo, right hand down, wing runway 31. Oscar Romeo, number 3, traffic proceeding, Robinson 44, helicopter, 2 miles ahead of you, we can keep inside. Golf Oscar Romeo, Walker. 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 Lima Papa, number two behind, report short final. Delta Echo Golf, contact ground 121.750. Delta Echo Golf, 121, thank you very much. Lima Papa, vous avez été coupé, donc 31, autorisé atterrissage, vent 240 degrés d'une. Oui, Lima Papa, on croit final. Golf Oscar Romeo, Robinson, helicopter in sight. Water Oscar Romeo, number uh, three, behind this traffic, and I call you back to turn base. Number three, we'll, uh, Roger, go for Scrum here. Oscar, Sir Kilo, Papa Alpha, pass on the set. Uh, Papa Alpha, Charlie 172, here, far from contact to Luxembourg, uh, routing via Texas Mayer. We're uh, uh, about to cross uh, south or uh, southwest of Gabriel Breco. It was crossing of your zone to Texas Mayer, uh, 2,500 feet. Oscar Sir Kilo, Papa Alpha, Squawk. 6117, transit approved. Transit approved, 6117 on the squawk, Bob Alpha. Golf Oscar Romeo, you can turn base, report short final. Turn base, report short final, Golf Oscar Romeo. Hi, Golf Yankee Charlie, hold short of Tango 3, I call you back. Hey, Sam, Yankee Charlie. Lima Papa, short final 3-1. Lima Papa, runway 3-1, clear to land 240 degrees, 10 knots. 
Faut que je mike papa, contactez le seul 121 750, bonne journée. Bonne journée, bonne journée, bonne journée, bonne journée. 3-1. I've never done a very good landing at Latuke. I always screw it up one way or another. Today is going to be no exception. Why? Well, I make a very common mistake. I'm stable, I've got the speed just right, there's a light left crosswind. Where I go wrong is to fixate my view on the runway directly in front of me, rather than to throw my gaze to the far end of the runway. It results in me landing flat. It was an uncomfortable touchdown, but as the external camera shows, not heavy enough to cause any damage, thankfully. Sorry about that. <sighs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What can I, I, don't, say? I don't mind, OK? Just don't do it again. <laughs> well, that was a terrible landing. I don't think I've landed as badly as that in a long time. Kept it flat, wasn't looking towards the end of the runway. To be fair, my eyes were drawn towards a bird. Maybe that was why, but still no excuses. Landed very flat, had a good look at the undercarriage to check there's nothing bent. It wasn't hard, hard, but it's just the fear that you've landed on the nose wheel. So we're going to go and uh, get our passports checked now and then head to the beach, hey Bertie? Yep. Okay, we've just paid our landing fee and I'm now filing the GAR form for the way home. You have to do it four hours in advance, so we're doing it now before we go anywhere. That's the thing about uh, Latuke, the temptation is to get a taxi but from my recollection it's not a cheap ride even though it's not very far at all and this walk is lovely through the trees there's barely any traffic on the road and it's just a nice relaxing way to sort of calm down after a busy flight I suppose So we just had our lunch, bite to eat, simple sort of um, club sandwich. Bertie had chicken nuggets and chips, but he didn't like the chicken nuggets and chips because it had a bit of vinaigrette on it. He's a real fussy eater, aren't you? Oh, you got chip. <laughs> So we're all set to go. I've just got to get uh, Bertie's life jacket on and then we'll board the plane and uh, call up for start. Absolutely gorgeous still here. Lovely sunny day, very, very hot. The plane's very hot inside. I've actually just had to refire my flight plan because the one I did earlier, I got an email from Sky Demon not very long ago saying that uh, flight plans filed today between nine and 12 Zulu. 
didn't make it through to ATC for some reason, which is, um, well, it's annoying. But uh, anyway, I refiled it and I checked with the tower that they've got my flight plan. So we're all set to go. We'll be uh, heading off back across the channel very soon. Clear prop. It's not unusual for a hot old piston engine like this to find it difficult to start. But you get used to an aeroplane that you fly regularly and Oscar Romeo didn't quite feel right now. Here, you can even see me removing my headset to listen more closely, and I'm checking the magnetos very carefully. It's very difficult, though, to tell if you're just hearing things sometimes. You find yourself wondering, does the aeroplane always vibrate like that? Is the engine pitch a bit different from normal because it's hot? What's that rattle? If all other indications seem normal, you find yourself discounting these instincts as being all in your mind, because they're so subtle. Squawk 6110 and taxi Tango 3, Wilco, Gulf Oscar Romeo. I taxied to the engine run-up area at Latuque to complete my pre-flight checks. These involve powering up the engine to 2,000 RPM. When I did this, the engine misfired. Next, I could sense a slight smell of smoke. And Golf Oscar Romeo, I smell burning. Are you seeing um, anything unusual? Oscar Romeo, still again? I'm smelling burning in the cockpit. Are you seeing anything unusual? Uh, stand by. Burning. Not from my point of view. I can send you the fireman if you want. Uh, negative. Um, I'll just do another run up, just see if it's um, just some oil burning off or something. It was certainly unnerving. First the engine had sounded a bit different from normal, then it backfires and I smell smoke. I gave the engine another thorough run-up. There were no other abnormal indications and the smoke smell had dissipated. Mike, Mike, you can make your run-up just after the disused runway and call me back when ready for departure. OK, I do the run-up here. I put it all down to a hot engine that had simply backfired. I vowed to monitor it closely on the climb-out and pay careful attention to the engine instruments during the flight. Cofos Gremio, uh, OPS normal, and uh, continue taxi to Tango 3. We will be ready for departure. Roger, Oscar Romeo, uh, hold short of Tango 3 reaching, contact tower 118450, bye. Hold short at uh, Tango 3, and tower 118450, Golf Oscar Romeo, thank you. Roger, if you want an inspection by the fireman, uh, no problem at all. No? It's fine, it uh, seems to have cleared, I think it's just a bit of oil. OK, great, bye. Bye. It's OK, tower, Golf Bravo, Hotel Oscar Romeo, Tango 3, ready for departure. Oscar Romeo, hello, line up runway 31, clear for takeoff, 250 degrees 8 knots. Clear for takeoff, uh, runway 31. Golf Oscar Romeo. Clear on approach, you ready to go? Yeah. As most of you will know, an engineering inspection a couple of months after this flight revealed a major problem with Oscar Romeo's engine. It's currently being overhauled. Temperatures and pressures are in the green. Airspeed's alive. Uh, 65. So was what happened at Latuque a clue? What would you have done? Bear in mind we're about to carry out a substantial water crossing of the English Channel. After this flight, we had a couple of other engine issues, mainly rough running. The magnetos, wiring harness and plugs were all changed, which rectified the problem. I think here in Latuque, it was the magnetos on their way out. Clapped her down, or up, as the case may be. I don't know if I'd made the right decision or not to complete the flight. I discussed it with a friend who knows the aeroplane, and they put it down to a backfire that could be disregarded. In hindsight, though, we can see that there were indeed major problems. 
and who's to say that the engine wouldn't have let me down mid-channel? Quite sobering to think about, I'm sure you'll agree. As for the engine overhaul, I'm told that the crankcase is now back over from America and the rebuild is about to begin. We're hoping the aeroplane will be back in service in February. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Fly safely, my friends.